What up, y'all? Welcome to Pooping with Plunkett. How y'all doing today? I'm getting myself situated here. God dang. I don't know why everything feels off right now. It's like... Maybe it's just me, but I have to be... I don't know what the fuck is off right now, but something isn't quite right, like physically, you know what I'm saying, with me sitting here, and you might notice, you're a little cockeyed today, like, like I think like that, and uh, that's because I got my phone plugged in right now, and where I sit my phone at, it's like, you know, it's got to sit at an angle, um, god damn, it's Sunday, y'all, I better get your ass right with Jesus. You think I'm playing. I'm not playing. Go to church. You know, just read the Bible. You read, you read a little bit of it. It's crazy as fuck. Like, you just crack open the Bible anywhere. You know, like, like, like realistically, like, seven or eight died out of ten times you just like crack it open any random place and start reading it at any random place you'll find something that you can like you know help you feel better about your day or with your life or whatever you might be going through and it's really fucking cool man there's there's nothing ever i'll tell you a story another time maybe next sunday nothing will ever convince me personally that jesus christ is not real or god isn't real he's fucking real dude i don't give a fuck if you don't think so i mean i i ain't mad at you you know what i'm saying i'm not here to judge anybody to force my beliefs on anybody but i'll tell y'all a story maybe next week but Right now, I gotta tell you about today first. Cause I, uh, woke up this morning. I strapped on my old work boots and went out to the woods where, where I used to take Popeye a lot. I, you know, I had my cup of coffee, you know, and my little fucking insulated fucking cup, and I'm walking. I got Popeye, you know, I got her ashes and a little keychain. And, I'm walking with Popeye out there through the woods and shit, you know, just enjoying myself and drinking coffee. I got all the way, literally, to the furthest part on the trail away from my truck that I could possibly get. I mean, before I reached that point, you know, that coffee started doing its thing, you know, and I'm like, oh, you know, whatever, it's no big deal. I got really strong sphincter muscles, so it's, it's nothing new to me to have to have to shit and like be like oh i'll get to it later and i keep walking i'm drinking my coffee just enjoying you know fucking nature you know what i'm saying just enjoying the nature out there and fucking whatever man there's a couple of people fucking ride their bikes and shit or mountain bikes along the trails and uh man it got worse and worse, dude. That bubble gut. Oh, dude. It got to, like, beyond emergency time. Like, that fucking, you know, it was like Groundhog's Day, man. So, I literally, I found this big fucking giant brush pile off the trail. Like, if, like probably 10 yards, 15 yards off the trail. And I'm like, oh, my God, dude. I had to run over there. Dude. I was, like, climbing through fucking... Like this big giant brush pile and I found like it wasn't even a log it was like a stick like that big around like three inches around in diameter I kind of gave it a little fucking test you know like okay I think that'll hold me up dude I dropped trout and I, I fucking oh man thank god that thing has supported me and I'm sitting there like dude I was wearing a hoodie and shit and I was wearing a shirt that I didn't want to, you know, do a normal, you know, rip your sleeve off your shirt or something. And I'm sitting there like, oh my god, dude. Like, I didn't have time to get my phone out or anything to, like, you know, make a video or anything out in the woods. Because I normally I would have. 
Well, this is like real, like 100% emergency, dude. And I said, I was praying nobody would fucking, you know, like a family out there having a nice Sunday fucking ride on their bike, you know, fucking mom and dad and a couple of kids out there, you know, just riding their bikes and they come across and all I see is my big white ass with a big turd coming out. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I was hidden as good as I could get, you know what I'm saying, like, in the circumstances. And, uh, dude, I had no, I ended up having to rip, rip shreds off my boxers, you know, because I'm, like, grabbing leaves and, like, sticks and anything I could find when I was done. Sticks don't really do much for you, man. I, go, I know that goes without saying, and leaves just aren't that great. So I ripped my fucking boxers apart and fucking, you know, used that to clean up. And, uh, now I'm here for, I guess, finish the unfinished business I had earlier. But man, holy fuck, dude. I was really genuinely scared. And then, uh, I was sitting there, you know, beside the water out there, just kind of watching all the ducks and cranes and everything out there, and the other fish jumping in the water. I'm like, man, that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I had probably a little keychain hanging on my pinky, and I looked down, and my fucking hand is like covered in mosquitoes. That's like pretty much the only part of my body that was exposed is my face and my hands. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh fuck, it went like that. And, dude, that keychain flung off and went in the water. And I'm like, oh, shit, dude, I'm sorry, Popeye. I so I had to climb in the water and get Popeye out of there. And, uh, there's so much shit. I think about this shit, you know, before I get here. I always think about shit I want to talk about. And, like, there's, just, like, thoughts in my head that are going through, you know. I'm like, oh, man. I have conversations in my head with you guys, like, oh, yeah, you know, and I was thinking about ICP and shit, like, man, watching them fuckers get older, and it's cool on one hand, but on the other hand, it sucks, man, watching, like, because I watch interviews with them, and they're talking about back in the day, you know what I'm saying, like, this shit and that shit, and I'm like, I remember that shit, man, there's, like, so many people nowadays that weren't around for that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying, but I'm like, Sitting there thinking, dude, I remember what these motherfuckers are talking about. And it's like so long ago. But at the same time, for me, it wasn't that long ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was like... Everything was brand new at one time. And like now it's like old school shit. Like, I remember fucking Riddle Box when that was brand new. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, well, the not everybody, but... The other two people that I knew that knew who ICP was were all like, oh, dude, Riddle Box, man, it's a shit terror wheel. When that shit came out, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking the tunnel of love and everything, dude. Like, we're all like, oh, dude, you know, and by the time Malenko came out, there's a whole crew of us motherfuckers. God damn. Dude, I had tacos yesterday. I just finished the rest of the taco meat and beans and shit today. And, uh, shit's not sitting too great with my stomach right now. But, um, god damn it. Anyways, uh, oh, and I fixed my toilet yesterday. So it was running, like, constantly just fucking running. And I fixed it yesterday, so now it's not running anymore and it's working really good. But we're about to test how good it works, you know, here in a few minutes. Make sure it flushes properly and shit. It's been working good so far, but this is going to be a real test. But man, like, watching ICP getting older and shit, and twisted, you know, like, ICP has matured, you know, them, like, Val and Jay and Shaggy or Joe and Joey or whatever you want to call them. Dude, they matured so fucking much over time, you know, it's cool as fuck, dude. Like, they're so much more chill now than they used to be. It's still a dream of mine, dude, just to fucking, just to sit down and hang out with them motherfuckers, you know, and just, like, talk, you know, about life, you know, how's your family doing, like, 
you know, because, man, it's fucking crazy. Not so much Shaggy. I don't know as much about him and his, like, family because he's really private. But Jay, he's always been really open about, like, you know, having kids and getting married and divorced and having girlfriends and blah, 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 you know, his whole life. Like, I've never seen... I've seen Shaggy's wife. I've met his ex-wife, you know, like, at, like, CD release parties or after parties and shit. And Jay's, like, sugar, uh, sugar, sugar, uh... Fuck was her name? I uh, was sweet sugar, whatever her name was. I met her before, you know, before she like came onto the scene when she was just Jay's girl before they got married and had kids and all that. And uh, I think it was it was either A One Yola for Esham his CD release party or it was the Calm or something. But I remember hanging out with Jay back then, hanging out with Shaggy a couple of times and stuff, you know, but. I would love to have, like, just, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, yo, man, you know, what's going on, you guys, you know, and fucking just talk and fucking shoot the shit for a little bit. I don't even need an autograph or, like, you know, pictures and all that shit, just, like, the time, you know what I'm saying? That's, like, one thing on my bucket list that would be fucking amazing, dude, like, just to hang out with them guys just for a couple hours or so, or just an hour or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like... I don't even know what I would say. I'd be so starstruck, but at the same time, it'd be just like hanging out with some old school homies, you know what I'm saying, that just hadn't seen in a long time. And, uh, you know, just share stories from my own personal fucking juggalo history and, you know, share stories from them, like me being at shows and hanging out with them and shit. I don't know if they'd even give a fuck about hearing about that shit, you know what I'm saying, but, like, Dude, like, oh, man, so cool, dude. But, uh, that would be so cool, I mean. It's, anyway, it's cool to dream about, but it'd be really cool to actually do it, you know what I'm saying? And I remember my mom being like, when are you gonna outgrow them guys? <laughs> you know, what every tattoo I got, my head, you man, I got that on my 18th birthday. I got this tattoo that you're never gonna see. Like, when I was, like, 19 and fucking, you know, my Uzi man, I got that, like, when I was, like, I got fucked up at the Hatchet Rising tour. I got that tattoo, and like, man, my gut is fucked. But I got that tattoo, and like a week or two later, uh, you know, and it was all like healing up and scabbing and shit. I went to the fucking Hatchet Rising tour and Hollow Wicked, and I was in the mosh pits, crowd surfing. I was way skinnier back then, so I could get away with fucking crowd surfing and doing the mosh pits and all that shit nowadays if i go to a show i'm usually just kind of hanging back and it's such a different experience being like hanging back where you can actually see what's going on and you can breathe because like when you're fucking up in the mosh pit dude i'm sorry it's getting long dude but um when you're up in the mosh pit and you're like you know your shoulders are touching each other and your feet are like that far off the ground and you're just kind of floating around because there's so many people packed up and you're just like breathing that musty ass nasty air and sometimes you get that breath of fresh air and you just take it in like a bong hit dude and you're so hot and sweaty and you're just waiting for the fucking fago to hit you and it feels so good just like that nice cold fago it's not cold but it feels cold you know what i'm saying it cools you down a little bit and you try to catch some in your mouth or you like find a bottle with a little bit left in it and you're fucking drinking it because you're so thirsty and dehydrated and uh you get you know the breaths of fresh air you just, <gasps> and you just oh my gosh you know you feel so good and then afterwards you're like you're about to pass out dude and like that time i went i was like dressed up in that gorilla suit with the fucking eight boy shirt i might have told you all about that before but like dude i went outside that was how wicked I want to say it was like 2008 or 2009 maybe. And I, uh, dude, I fucking took the top half off, dude. And I was with like my boys and my girl and, you know, whatever, whoever I was with. And they were like, dude, as soon as I took that shit off, I just disappeared because it was cold outside and my body heat was so hot. Like it was just this big steam cloud. And it was like a ninja when they fucking dropped the smoke bomb and it was like just, you, they disappear. That's what happened when I took that off, dude. It was just like, pfft. dude, I was just steaming. I was like, oh my God, dude, I felt so much better, dude. And I cooled off, you know, fucking 
hung out, you know, my ears are all buzzing, I got no voice from screaming and fucking, I fucking rap, you know, put it back on and fucking was walking and I was walking by the fucking Tech 9, he had the big box truck out there with his crew, they're handing out sam sampler CDs and this dude's like, yo, get up here, man, like, up, get up here and dance or something, and I'm like, all right, fuck yeah, dude, I got up here, I'm like, hey, motherfuckers, you know, and fucking yelling at people, and they hand me this whole stack of CDs, and they're like, here's hand these out to people or something, dude, I'm like, all right, cool, man, bet, dude, I'm fucking whipping them bitches at people's heads and shit, and they get clocked in the back of the head with a fucking CD, you know, and they turn around all pissed, and they see me, and I'm like, yo, man, and they're like, oh, shit, hey, boy, you know, and they're all happy, and they didn't give a fuck because it's Ape Boy, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ape Boy just fucking clocked me in the back of the head with his fucking CD. And it was awesome, dude. That was, like, one of the best fucking shows, dude. The Hatchet Rising Tour was fucking awesome, dude. And the Riddle Box show on Juggalo Day in, uh, what was that, 2013 or something? Or 2000... Something like that. I don't remember what year it was, dude. But that Riddle Box show, dude, me and my nephew went... Yeah, I could sit here for hours just telling fucking stories about fucking going to shows and fucking having the fucking best time of my life, dude. The Jekyll Brothers, dude, that was the first show I'd ever been to. Or the first show I'd ever been to. My sister took me to it back in, like, what was that, like, 98, 99, something, maybe 2000. I don't know, dude. Anyways, this shit's getting really long, y'all, so, uh, y'all wash your hands after you poop.